Hi everybody, Patrick here from paintballprops.com, engineeringshock.com, and electroniclessons.com. All links are below. Um, this is our upcoming laser set, and this laser set can be used for single laser trip wires, or it can be used for our custom laser grids. And if you want to learn more about custom laser grids, check us out at the front page of paintballprops.com for more information. Let me just show you the hardware here. This is a laser regulator board, um, 5 milliwatt red dot laser. Uh, laser mount with uh, laser holder and mounting hardware, swivel mirror, and AC to DC adapter for the regulator board to power the laser. Now I'm going to be going through each each uh, piece of this uh, one by one, and we're going to start with talking about uh, how the laser regulator board works and how it interfaces with the laser and the AC adapter. Afterwards, we're going to talk about this uh, mountable uh, laser holder, and then lastly the swivel mirror. In order to power the laser, you'll need obviously a power source. Uh, I designed this to be used for, uh, sorry, the regulator board to be used with um, wall adapters for constant power or batteries. We'll get to that in a second. Um, you'll need the laser itself, and what this board does again is it takes any voltage between, between 4 volts DC and 15 volts DC and safely regulates it down to 3 volts, which can safely power the laser. So let's have a closer look at the regulator board. The laser regulator board is actually very simple. It's uh, it's just a step down converter set for three volts exactly. Uh, it's very accurate, um, and there is the power input here. And what you do is you'd simply take your AC to DC wall adapter, plug it in, and it's powered. There's an on-off switch right here. You're not gonna have to worry about shocking yourself. It's on this adapter is only rated for nine volts, so. You could probably lick the bottom and it wouldn't make a difference, um, but uh, I'm going to unplug this for now. So we have an on-off switch, so you can see it's labeled on and off underneath the board. And this is our output. And what you'll notice is there's a terminal block and there are soldering points. So if you want to, you can solder the red wire of your laser to that pad and the black wire to that pad, to GD, which is ground. Black to GD, red to 3 volts. Or, you can take your laser and you can attach the wires to this terminal block by loosening these two screws, placing the wires in the right holes, red and black, and then tightening. And that way, um, you, haven't, uh, you haven't spoiled your board in any way. Not that soldering to your pads is spoiling your board, but you know what I mean. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach the laser right now. Check to make sure it's nice and tight, don't overdo it, but make sure that it's in there solid. So, if I apply more than, say, 5 volts to this laser, it's going to burn out relatively quick. Uh, so, what you can do, obviously, if you purchase one of these, I'll be testing it beforehand so you can ensure that 3 volts is coming out of this unit, but if you want to measure the output prior to uh, connecting your lasers, you can power it up, place the red lead of your multimeter on the 3 volt output, and the black lead of your multimeter on the uh, lower pin terminal here, GD ground, and you should measure 3 volts using uh, the DC voltage setting. So now let's plug it in and make sure that our laser uh, powers up properly. It doesn't matter if you power the unit up with the laser in the on or off position, I've got the switch to the off position just for the sake of the video. Plug it in, no laser, turn it on, there's the laser. So if you want to adjust the laser so that uh, there's less focus in a larger beam. You can f use um, the head gently twist back and forth to focus and defocus the laser. I'm going to give you and I'm going to give you a better demonstration of that right now. Now to ensure that the uh, camera doesn't go to focus because of the laser, I'm going to place it in the lower right hand corner. You can see that the beam is not too large. I can make it huge by defocusing, or I can make it very focused, and it actually looks bigger on camera than it is right now. It's a very, very focused dot. Um, but yeah, you can make the larger, the, the, the even defocus, making the laser beam weaker but easier to line up with the receiver. So I'm going to focus it back. And now let's talk about the laser mount. The adjustable laser mount comes with the laser mount, laser holder, which connects to the head of the laser mount, and mounting hardware. So I'm going to get rid of this for now, and we're just going to talk about the, uh, the adjustable mount itself. On the mount there are two main adjusting knobs and a nut on the top of the base and underneath the base. Now what you need to do first off is to tighten both of these against each other very very uh, uh, very tightly so that this doesn't, doesn't continually 
move around underneath. It can be kind of frustrating. So what I like to do is take either a wrench or needle nose pliers and just go until it's nice and tight. And I'm going to do that right now so it doesn't interfere with me while I mount the laser. Now that that's tightened, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tighten the, uh, the first arm into a into a position so that I can still move it. I'm not tightening to the point where I can't adjust, but I'm tightening it so that it's nice and stiff. Phrasing. Um, and the second uh, uh, area of adjustment is the head. And I will just uh, tighten that so that it is facing straight up. Now you'll notice that there's two washers on there, just two uh, plastic washers or rubber washers on there. Just leave that. From here, you'll notice on the laser holder that there's two screws. Remove them for the time being. And there's, so there's two holes in the top for those two screws and one hole in the bottom. And the hole in the bottom acts to, it's a, a threaded hole which acts to connect to the top of the laser mount. There we go. So, from there what we can do is we can place our laser in and I'll show you that in a different shot. One thing to note before placing your laser in is when you place your laser head onto the fixture, you might see that the uh, the screw base that the laser holder fits on will go past the bottom. Hopefully you can see. And that will make it so that you can't put your laser in because it's acting as a stopper. That, that The base screw is acting as a stopper right at the bottom. So what you have to do is loosen the head or the, the laser holder just a little bit and then use the this the the screw base here with the two rubber washers to tighten up against the bottom now hopefully we have no problem placing the uh, laser through nice so it works perfectly now what you want to do is you don't want to you don't want to mount it flush the laser flush you want to mount it just past so that once you tighten the laser into place you still have the ability to adjust focus so our laser is now in place, and now we can use these two these two uh, holding screws, these two uh, these two screws to basically you can use one. It doesn't, you don't need to use two. We'll just gently tighten that in, and now the laser won't move. One more thing to mention is that even if you don't have problems with the stopper at the bottom, but you still have trouble getting your laser through the hole. Um, you just have to. You can just remove the uh, the sticker on the laser. The the um, the label and it should fit in with no problem. So that's that. Now I have the ability to adjust left and right, uh, up and down. I have lots of adjustment here. And of course once I find my, my preferred, uh, my preferred uh, adjustment I can make, uh, I can tighten all of the knobs. Of course you would have done this after mounting, but yeah, so it's that. It's really that simple. Uh, it's a neat fixture. It's you know once you, especially if you've played with one, you've played with a hundred. They're uh, they're very simple. They're good quality too. So let's talk about the laser swivel. The laser swivel mirrors uh, are uh, quite nice actually. I really, uh, I really I'm happy with the quality of them. Uh, and they basically come in. They they come as one piece. They don't come with. They didn't come to me with mounting hardware, so I will be providing some mounting hardware. I just have to go to the hardware store and determine exactly what's required. But once you take it apart, there's three pieces. So this is the base. You simply twist it off, and then it comes into three different pieces. You don't worry about these two for now. I'm just going to talk about the mount. The mount. So as you can see, it's very easy to mount. You just need a very, uh, uh, you know, a, a screw with a thick head to uh, place three. One here, here here and once you've placed them in uh, you just have to turn it and of course the head of the screw will keep it flush against your wall so very simple I will be uh, acquiring the proper hardware for this prior to shipment but when placing it back together this is the the, mi the mirror base very simple it goes up through the bottom of the middle piece then it's just a matter of lining everything back up and twisting it back into place. From there, you've got two areas of swivel. The top mirror and the middle piece. And it's, it's relatively tight, so that's pretty awesome. I, I like the fact that it's tight and that it's not loose. 
So let's give it a test with our uh, with with uh, our laser and our laser mount. Let's just let's test it out. Ideally, what you'd want to do is mount your laser uh, your, your laser mount to a wall and on an adjacent wall somewhere, you'd mount your swivel mirror. Then you would line up the laser beam with the middle of the swivel the swivel mirror, and then you'd use the swivel mirror to bounce that beam to back to the originating wall or to uh, another wall to a sensor board. Uh, in any case, as you can see, the laser is more or less aimed right in the middle of the swivel mirror. And right now, the laser beam is being beamed up to my ceiling near my lights. Now, unfortunately, every time I look at the laser, my camera goes out of focus. So, uh, right now, it's, it's facing the ceiling about a meter in front of me, uh, aimed this way. So now, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to adjust the swivel mirror a little bit and now it's being beamed about two meters over that way hopefully you can see and whereas it used to be here now it's over there and my camera goes out of focus so you have a you have you you can you can use a swivel mirror to beam uh, to beam the laser all over the room uh, it, it's reliable it's solid it's not loose and that's the most important part the swivel mirror is not loose, and I was worried that when I got these in, that they would be, but they're very, very set. They're very strong, and uh, you have to use your hand. You, ha you really have to put a little bit of power into adjusting them, but once it's adjusted, it stays that way. It stays that way. So, thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and uh, subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, in any case, check us out at paintballprops.com, engineeringshot.com, and electroniclessons.com. Have a great day, everyone.